Have any of you ever had a panic attack? Panic attacks are a very serious thing and need to be recognized. Not everyone experiences panic attacks, but many people do. Actually, more people than you realize will, will experience one in their lifetime. I'm able to present this information to you today because I have done research on panic attacks and have become very knowledgeable about it. My purpose on doing this speech is for you all to gain more knowledge about panic attacks. Panic attacks are periods of intense fear or apprehension that are sudden onset and a variable duration of minutes to hours. I would like to talk about one, what causes it and how to stop them, two, the statistics on how many people suffer from this condition and the signs of having one, and three, how it affects someone's lifestyle. First, I would like to explain what causes a panic attack and how someone can stop them. According to psychologytoday.com, there are two categories that panic attacks come into. These two categories are situational and unexpected. The situational attacks happen by being triggered by a certain scenario. The unexpected attacks come out of nowhere. As an example, a person who has a fear of public speaking will possibly have a situational panic attack before presenting their speech. People with unexpected panic attacks would possibly have a difficult time trying to figure out why they had an attack. Also, according to WebMD.com, there are a few factors that may play a role in panic attacks. These roles are family history, abnormalities in the brain, substance abuse, and major life stress. To stop panic attacks, someone can use a type of psychotherapy called Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. This teaches techniques that can be done on your own with the help of a book to stop panic attacks. For those with a more severe anxiety, having a CBT trained therapist may provide better results. CBT is a three-pronged approach to treating panic attacks. It does this by targeting the physical system, the inaccurate thinking, and the problematic behaviors that, that are at the root of the problem. Second, I would like to tell you the statistics of how many people will suffer from panic attacks. I will also tell you the signs of having one. According to PanicHub.com, panic attacks are quite common. An estimated of 2.4 million Americans suffer from a panic attack. Statistically, people with minimum or no education, married with a job, there are certain signs that you can look for when having an attack. Some of these signs are rapid heart rate, sweating, trembling, hyperventilation, abdominal cramping, chest pain, and headaches. These are just a few symptoms to look for when having an attack. Third, I would like to tell you how having panic attacks can affect someone's life. According to panicdisorder.com, People with panic attacks may have difficulty to genuinely connect with others. Many with this disorder fear that other people will negatively evaluate them. They also feel like they may feel rejected by loved ones who don't understand panic attacks. People who have these attacks try to keep it quiet and doing that can cause issues in dating relationships and with close friends and family. People who suffer from panic attacks they have co-occurring mental health disorders and several medical health issues. For the mental disorders, the conditions may include post-traumatic stress disorder, OCD, and specific phobias. One common thing that people tend to have with these attacks is mood disorders. For physical health issues, the conditions may include irritable bowel syndrome, headaches and migraines, and acid reflux disease. Just because these conditions occur commonly with panic attacks, it does not necessarily mean that you will develop any of them. In conclusion, I would like to, to remind you that the purpose of my speech was to teach you about panic attacks. In my speech, I discussed what causes panic attacks and how to stop them, the statistics on how many people get them and the signs of having an attack, and how it can affect someone's life. Again. I feel like I could talk about this subject because I have done a lot of research on this topic. 
The next time you feel like you're having an attack, make sure you know the signs to look for so you can recognize when you're having an attack. You also need to make sure you know how you can control them when having them. Panic attacks are not something you should take lightly. I hope that you all gained enough knowledge to know what to look for during an attack and how to deal with them. If you have these attacks, just know that you are not alone. 